Hey guys, recently I was lucky enough to travel down to Akron, Ohio to watch Markiplier's You're Welcome Tour. Markiplier has been a big influence in what I've been doing ever since I first went on YouTube and started watching YouTubers. And uh, he's just really a big impact on my life and he, I aspire to be somewhat like him in the fact that he makes videos to just make people happy you know and that's all i really want and that's all most of us most of us youtubers want unless you're just in it for the money which usually you can tell who's in it for the money and who's in it for the you know for the happiness and for just having a good time so i actually recorded a little bit of videos um i'll give you a little bit of context about what it's about beforehand so there you go so before this little skit, they determined that the theme of the show was going to be sci-fi. So they ended up having a person, a contestant, come up on stage, and then Bob, the the big guy on the right, decided that it was going to be that he was going to take over the show because it was all about Markiplier and he wanted it to be about him. And uh, yeah, so this is where it goes from here. But they're still bad guys. I mean, that's very clearly Tyler and Wayne. They then started talking about this girl and getting details about her life, and uh, then they ended up doing like a comedy musical improv skit about her life and whatnot. And then they decided to go and do like a sci-fi kind of improv session. Uh, it was kind of hard to follow, but yeah, you guys can watch it. I guess it's important to note that before the show, they had like these big boxes outside where they would have people write down like random sentences and then put it in the box and then they would use it later on in the show. So if they pull out a piece of paper and they start reading off of it, that's what it is. It's somebody in the audience's... Gas 
stop. Wait! I just remembered what my science teacher told me. And excuse me. What? Well, that, this that, could be urgent. We're about to land on a star. She said that when you're thinking about stars, life being just strippers and burritos. <laughs> This last clip is probably one of the better ones because you don't need to actually hear what they're saying. It's just a dance off, and people have these red or green, uh, like little signs, and that decides which person wins. So whenever they lift them up, everybody like votes and whatnot. It's a democracy, you know. Yes. 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 Wow, we 
Are you ready for round two? Yeah, well, yeah, are you ready for round two? Yes. We spin my wheel of dance. Round two is going to be a river dance.
So if this one looks worse than the rest, is because I recorded it in portrait mode and then had to edit it into landscape. What they're doing is the sound guy on the left is giving them like random sound effects and then they have to work with it when they're like a little skit. Their little skit is they're on Mercury collecting rocks for some strange reasons. Oh, dude, no, you gotta live from the middle. It all How many times do I say you have to live from the middle of the box? Dave? And that's all I have for you guys. That's all the videos that I recorded. It actually cut off right there because I ran out of storage space. This was an experience. Um, it was really cool to see him on stage in real life and see all of his friends on in real life. Um, you know, instead of seeing them on like a computer screen, it you know, at the end of the show, he did like a little talk session, and some girl was crying, bawling her eyes out. She was like, oh, Markiplier, I don't think you know how much you mean to all of us. Yada, yada. And, you know, that that really got to me. I was like, oh, yeah, he really does mean a lot to a lot of people. But not as much to me as some people out there. But, you know, some people are going through some shit, and, you know, just watching his videos is good for them. So I think it's really wrong to, like, hate on people just because they like a certain thing, if that helps them grow as a person. Um... Some thoughts of things I didn't like about this show could be that everything was just, like, every time, like, he used, like, taking off his shirt, like, as a way to, like, get the audience, like, woo! Like, he did it, like, five times, probably, and everybody would, like, start screaming and freaking out, all these teenage girls here. And that was kind of, just kind of dumb. Um... I mean, I guess that it was like a crowd thing, like, oh, I gotta get the crowd going, better show a little bit of nip, but, you know, it's just kind of like, uh, whatever, dude. Um, also, the audience, it the, which isn't under their control, but the audience, like, s was screaming, like, every, like, ten seconds about some random thing that they were doing, and, like, bursting out laughing. But, uh, overall, it was a great show. If it could have been a little bit longer, that would have been nice. It was only, like, two hours long, and, like... Probably, like, 30 minutes of that was kind of, like, just talking and, like, switching things and not really them doing improv. Uh, but, you know, I feel like it was a good experience to have because now I can say that I've been there and I can say that I, I did that. So thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to like, comment, and share, and I will see you in the next video. Ta-ta!